if we mom, guess. but if you are trying to win over a guy, a girl, whatever, you're trying to win over whether you're a guy trying to win a girl over or a girl trying to win a guy's heart, this is perfect for you. Uh, it's the, the drumsticks, they're like very, very easy, the pakores, and then we are, we're also making chai, which is gonna be tea, so you can always invite the person over for uh, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, and um, you know, just make this and try to see what they like. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and we'll catch you later. Okay, so for this, you're going to need this chickpeas flour, like basin, lime, chopped tomato, chopped halopinia, onion, and coriander a little bit. This is chicken um, chicken drumstick not the thai just drum, drumstick this is breadcrumb water and cumin seeds crushed cumin seeds and oil this the half cup chickpeas flour chicken leg cut like this So we already had some pre-ready and pretty much what you want to do is just kind of slice um, all the chicken off by the bones and just kind of make them like little flower petals um, so this is kind of what you have. What we're going to do is go ahead and make um, the flour or the spice for it and then we're going to go ahead and put all that right inside of our chicken. You put in a little bit of lime, take a little bit of water. So you just keep adding water until you get a very soft light consistency. We're going to show you the consistency that you need for the garbanzo flour or the chickpea flour or for some that don't know what it is, it's besan. That's it. So you want to go ahead and start adding the onions. You want to have it very small like slices. Then you want to add the peppers, the tomatoes, and then you want to go ahead and add the coriander. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Salt's all your own preference of um, how much you need in there. And then just mix the, the phone drain. Just go ahead and mix um, all the garbanzo flour and uh, the vegetables together. We just took one spoon of cumin seeds, crushed cumin seeds, and we also mixed it into the paste. And then we also have um, enough oil right here to like, you know, fry the drumsticks. And so you just pretty much want to do it for like your regular frying drumsticks kind of a chicken so what you're gonna do is go ahead and open all the little let's say petals like a flower petal you want to open all of them and you are gonna go ahead and put the paste right inside of it and then you're gonna close it back up you're gonna flip all the chicken pieces right back up on there on the drumstick and then you're gonna go ahead and dip it you're gonna dip it right into the that soft we did. It's gonna be very soft, so you have to be careful, and it is going to drip out. You're gonna get a lot of um, the paste dripping right outside of the chickens, as you can see, like right here. The thicker paste you have, the easier it's gonna be for you to fry. And then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the step with the other pieces. So now that we have the drumsticks ready, and this is how it looks, just like that. Uh, we have everything in there. We're gonna go ahead and put it right into the uh, oil so we can deep fry it. As you can see, on one side it's already uh, cooked and my mom just flipped it over so we can go ahead and cook the other side now. So we'll go ahead and get back to you once we are done cooking them. And as you can see, you see like right here, that's all like the green uh, coriander and the peppers, so everything is cooking inside and it looks super yummy, super crunchy, and I can't wait till I eat, go on a date with my mom tonight. Right here we have a cup and a half of water, and we're going to teach you guys how to make chai, which is the Pakistani form of chai, and we've got like a cup and a half right here, and we're just going to go ahead and wait for this to simmer on our stove, and you want to turn, the, you want to go ahead and turn the stove up on high, and you can go ahead, you can go ahead and throw in the teas. Now I know a lot of people also throw in the uh, tea bags which um, doesn't give you a lot of mess but that doesn't give you a lot of flavor either this gives you a lot more flavor having just the single grains of tea so we're just going to be using those one and a half then one and a half cup to one and a half tea, uh, and then that's one and a half uh, spoon of the tea 
Now you can find this tea anywhere. Um, it doesn't have to be like a certain brand. It could be any kind of a tea as long as you know it's a tea and you can pour milk and sugar in there as well. Our tea is starting to boil. It's coming to a boil and then we're gonna go ahead and pour the milk in. On the other side, my mom has a chicken like right there. She uh, just flipped it over again, so it should be done very, very soon, and I can't wait to dig it. To make the chai, you want to go ahead and pour in some hot milk, so you can go ahead and microwave a cup and a half of milk and just pour all that in there, just like that. And then you can go ahead and add sugar in it okay. as well. But that, that did it, actually. My mother, your boil will arrive, she's gonna finish it. You don't want to boil it too much. As soon as you see the first boil, just turn it off and that's it. And then the sugar, uh, it all depends on you. Now, you people drink this without tea in our culture, the ones that are diabetic, or you can go ahead and put Splenda in it. We just like to drink regular tea with regular sugar. Bus. That's see, it's right. coming to boil and that's it. Just turn it off. That was very simple, wasn't it? As you can see, we have like this little, um, Drainer, which is going to take it, which is going to uh, leave behind all the tea, and it's going to give you plain white chai. Or not white; it's more like um, a yellow, kind of a pretty pink-looking chai. Chicken is ready. Alright guys, so this is the final piece of uh, the chicken. We also have the pakoras here. And then we also have the Pakistani jai, which is right here and super yummy. Um, so yeah, this is our date. And I'll let my mom take it off from here. I hope so you enjoyed this di uh, dinner date. Never forget to bring hot sauce. As you know, hot sauce always make the dates hotter. <laughs> Hi kids, I'm making <laughs> thumbs up, subscribes, and um, <laughs> comment. Comment. Oh, comment. 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 You can have some. Here. Oh, what a lucky